Okay guys, so this is my YSL mini Lou bag and this is actually the first time I've had color transfer. What happened is I was wearing a denim skirt and I thought I've washed it, but obviously maybe I only washed it a couple of times because you've got to be really, really careful with denim. It doesn't look that bad here in this lighting. So whilst I was editing, I realized this doesn't look like the true representation so I've put a close-up picture so you can see where my dark blue denim skirt has done some damage to my mini Lou bag. This is the first time I'm using any product because I've never had color transfer before and I've even got some marks here see these little brown marks so what I'm using is I've had this for a while I don't usually use it but I'm going to try it and let's see how we go. So I have got a microfiber cloth. I just sort of like dab it like that first. Just Let's just try it out, see if it even works. So I'm just, whenever you do anything on leather, you really just need to dab and not, and not um, rub because that is not good. So let's just see how that's going. looks like it's coming out let me just go to another part I'm just gonna try this bit so I'm dabbing 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 so just take your time doing it you might have to repeat it now let's have a look so the brown marks look better and I still see some color transfer, but definitely better. Okay, so now I know I can use this product on color transfer. Let me just, let's just see if you can zoom up and have a look. Can you see the blue at all or does it look the same? I think it actually worked. I'm just going to keep dabbing the top. Usually if you get to color transfer, I only realized this a maybe three hours after I wore the bag while I was putting the bag away. So you just have to get to it straight away. But if you're not sure, guys, this is just my experience dealing with it. This is the, you know, Saint Laurent uh, pebbled leather or their version of caviar leather. So it actually makes me love the Saint Laurent pebbled even more. It's more durable than I thought. So guys, don't make a rookie mistake like me. If you're wearing light color bags, do double check your denim. But as you've seen, it's taken me less than 60 seconds per area. Just dab, dab, dab and repeat the process if necessary. I think that's removed it guys. I'm actually really, really impressed. So just to tell you, the one that I used was called Tana. And for my Aussie followers, I'm pretty sure you can just buy these at David Jones. Yeah, see, it's $7.95, so it's very well priced. But please test at your own risk. I'm not sure if it's going to work on all leathers, but for this particular one, it took all my color transfer away. Okay, so I inspected the bag and I found a bit more all along this edge here. Can you see? Just trying to see if we can zoom up. So it's blue from my skirt, this denim skirt that I'm wearing. So be careful. Blob and just sort of like, you know, do that. And I'm going to blot it again. Okay, let's have a look. How's that looking? pretty good so there you go guys this was a very impromptu video I thought I'll just upload it it might help some of you that have got color transfers to so step number one make sure the minute you see it treat it straight away now please do consult someone but it this particular one did work for me I will leave it in the description bar below microfiber cloth dab do not rub and it got all my color transfer off i do think with caviar leather it's easier to get off than obviously a smooth leather but if color transfer ever happens to you do try that out another thing i get asked is how i clean my bags and as i said guys normally i never use leather conditioners this is just the first time i've used it because i experience color transfer actually normally what i do is just with a microfiber cloth i just go over the bag obviously a clean one 
and it just removes any sort of light dust or anything that may have settled on the bag. It's also really good. I go over my chains like this as well. Just, just give it like, like a quick wipe, I guess. That's what I do. And I just do that. It just really depends monthly. But for Chanel caviar bags, you know your glove. I just usually use that glove and sort of just go over it. But if you've got a plain microfiber cloth, that works fine as well. And if you open your bag up inside, sometimes you've just got little remnants and things like that. You can also use that and just give it a little wipe as well. Even if you've got a little bit of leather conditioner, that won't hurt, I believe. And then that just, you know, restores a little bit of sheen. So if you liked this kind of tip video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.